Today, we're gonna to be talking about market capitalization or better known as market cap. We're also gonna talk about how to calculate and why it's important to you to understand. But first, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in wealth building strategies such as stock market investing, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you find value in this video, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. So first we wanna know what market capitalization is or market cap. So market cap is the total worth of a company's outstanding shares. Okay, outstanding shares being shares owned by the public like people like you or I. All right, so if we were to round up all the shares of one company into one basket and you took its value, that would be the market cap. All right, so for example, you have a company that has 100 shares and each share is worth a dollar. You multiply one dollar by 100 shares, it's a market cap of $100. Now, a market cap of $100 is very unrealistic. So let's use a larger company. Looking at a company like Apple, okay, Apple has outstanding shares of 4.5-ish billion and its last closing price or one of its more recently closing prices, depending on the day, uh, is $223.97. And to get the market cap, you would just take the price, multiply it by the total outstanding shares, and you come up with a market cap of around $1 trillion. Now, obviously there are rounding numbers in these particular numbers that you just saw. Uh, so it's not gonna come out quite to $1 trillion, all right? So if we were to take all the actual amount of shares, not just 4.5, but 4.5, blah, 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 all right, and multiplied it by its price, it would come out to be around 1 trillion, probably a little higher. So that's what market cap is and how to calculate it. Now, why is it important? Now it's important because it can help you understand how to narrow down what you're looking for in these companies. Now, before you understand that, you need to know there are three different types of market caps, all right? There's a small market cap, a medium market cap, and a large market cap. The small market cap has a price range between 300 million and $2 billion, whereas the medium has 2 billion to 10 billion, and then a large market cap has 10 billion and up. Now. With that in mind, it helps you understand, okay, well, what's the difference between the three? Well, small and mid-market cap companies tend to have a higher risk involved, but potential for a greater return if you invest in them, if they succeed and pull through to the end. Whereas large market cap companies tend to be more stable during economic turmoil and whatnot. And however, they have slower growth, but it's, guaranteed, it's not necessarily guaranteed, it's not like they're invincible, but they're more likely to continue to increase in value slowly over time. Now, specifics that I would look for with a small cap company are, are they niche oriented? Are they specifically focusing on a product or a service for a specific group of people? For example, I own a company called BioLife Solutions. It provides research equipment for a very specific research and then you have the mid market cap companies they are tip they can typically be newer companies that have great potential however they have high risk because they could still be stomped out by a larger company uh, now if they pull through and they get into the large cap company range then typically they will have greater returns for you but at the same time they have to get there and then you have the large cap companies they're very stable they're very well off they're very you know examples of a large cap company would be amazon apple um, alphabet you know all these larger companies all right when you're looking into companies try and be specifically looking at are they gaining money are they losing money why are they this cap size are they very niche or they have room to grow to become something greater or are they just going to stay in that little section and not grow or make much more money than what they're making right now some things that can influence a market cap are the amount of shares if a company buys back shares or issues more shares that can affect the market cap outside of their organic growth and another thing is the price of the stock Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.